Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD along with this uh, diagonal uh, AC that passes through point uh, P as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, we got this uh, triangle uh, EBN such that uh, this uh, segment, this side length uh, NB equals to FB. And the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, x uh, centimeter square. And furthermore, uh, we have this uh, green uh, triangle uh, MDH such that uh, its uh, side length uh, MD equals to this side length uh, DG. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region, this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. Now let's focus on this uh, rectangle. Let's assume that its area is uh, 10 centimeter square. And now if I draw this uh, main diagonal, then this uh, diagonal is going to divide the area of this rectangle into two equal parts, this part uh, and uh, this uh, part. In other words, if the total area is uh, 10, then this area is going to be 5 centimeter square. And likewise, this area is going to be 5 centimeter square as well. And likewise, if I draw this uh, diagonal the other way around, then this uh, diagonal is going to divide the area of this uh, rectangle into two equal parts uh, as uh, well. And now let's consider these uh, two identical uh, rectangles whose uh, this uh, length uh, is uh, same and likewise uh, their width uh, is uh, same uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, blue triangle. And if I draw another uh, yellow triangle, then these uh, both uh, triangles are going to be congruent as long as their height uh, is same and their bases, this base uh, is equal to this uh, base. And now let's consider this uh, rectangle along with this uh, diagonal. Then we know that this uh, triangle area is going to be equal to this uh, triangle area. And now in this uh, next step, I have divided this uh, main rectangle into four uh, smaller rectangles. This rectangle, this rectangle, this rectangle, and likewise this rectangle as well. And all of these uh, lines pass through this uh, common point. And we can see that this uh, triangle area is going to be equal to this uh, triangle area in this uh, rectangle. Likewise, this triangle area is going to be equal to this uh, triangle uh, area in this uh, another rectangle. And still, uh, this uh, blue triangle area is going to be equal to this uh, yellow triangle area. And now let's revert our attention back to our this given uh, problem. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this point E with this uh, point uh, F. And as a result, we got this uh, triangle uh, EBF. And we can see that uh, these uh, both triangle, this blue triangle and this uh, yellow triangle are uh, congruent since their uh, bases uh, are uh, same and their height uh, EB is uh, same as well. And the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, X. Therefore, uh, the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be X uh, centimeter square as well. And since uh, EF uh, is the diagonal for this uh, rectangle, so therefore, if this uh, area is X, uh, then the area of this uh, other triangle is going to be X uh, centimeter square as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, MDH. Let's assume that its uh, area is uh, Y centimeter square. Now let me go ahead and connect uh, these points uh, G and H as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see that this uh, triangle is congruent to this uh, triangle since uh, this base uh, MD is equal to this base uh, DG and their height uh, is uh, same as well. 
so therefore uh, their area are going to be congruent as well if this area is y then this area is going to be y as well and furthermore uh, this uh, gh uh, is the diagonal in this uh, rectangle if this uh, area is y then this uh, other triangle area is going to be y as well and furthermore uh, this uh, triangle area is going to be congruent to this triangle area if I label this uh, triangle area as uh, lowercase a then this area is going to be lowercase uh, a as well and finally this uh, triangle area is going to be congruent to this uh, triangle area as well let me go ahead and label uh, this area as uh, lowercase b then this uh, other triangle area is going to be lowercase p as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, rectangle uh, a b c d along with this uh, diagonal uh, a c then this uh, diagonal uh, a c is going to divide uh, the area into two equal parts uh, this uh, area total area is going to be equal to this uh, total uh, area let's focus on uh, this uh, total area on the top this is going to become x plus x is 2x plus a plus b so i can write uh, 2x plus uh, a plus b is going to be equal to this other total area y plus y becomes 2y plus a plus b so let me write down uh, 2y plus uh, a plus b and here we can see a cancels out with this a b cancels out with this b so therefore we are ended up with the 2x equals to 2 times y let's divide both sides by 2 so therefore x turns out to be equal to y and now let's focus uh, on this uh, y so y is same as uh, x so therefore i'm going to replace this y by x likewise uh, this y i'm going to replace it by x and this uh, y by x uh, as well so therefore we can conclude that this uh, green uh, region area turns out to be x plus x plus x means this is going to be equal to 3x so thus the area of this uh, green region turns out to be 3x uh, centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye